Hello friends, welcome to Science Land. I am Nikita and today we are going to talk about edible vaccines. But before starting the lecture, I request you to subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Let's start. Edible vaccines are also known as oral vaccines because they are administered orally. They are also known as plant derived vaccines because plants manufacture these kind of vaccines. Vaccines, they are the primary tools for health intervention. Anytime you think of controlling a disease or containing a disease or preventing a disease, the first solution which comes to your mind is vaccination. That's why vaccination is so important and in developing countries, there are certain limitations. Now, what are these limitations? Limitations are as simple as the cold chain supply or it can be the cost production many other limitations are there to eliminate these kind of limitations the edible vaccines were developed now there was this concept which was incorporation of transgene into the plant to produce transgenic plant what is this concept about the plant biologist already knew that i have a gene which is my gene of interest and if i incorporate into the plant genome the plant would essentially start producing that particular product this altered plant is known as transgenic plant so in 1990 there was this person called as charles he thought instead of transgene if i use the antigen gene and i incorporate into a surrogate organism which would produce the protein or the antigen for me and that protein can be used to elicit the immune response. It will be very helpful for one process which is immunization. So what he did, he produced surface antigen of hepatitis B in tobacco plant and that was the first ever edible vaccine. Now, by definition, plant manufactured pharmaceuticals which elicit immune response are known as edible vaccines. Okay, so now let's start with the mechanism of action for edible vaccine or in short how edible vaccine immunizes people. Before starting the explanation of this diagram, I want to tell you a basic thing. A pathogen invades a human body via different routes. Now, these routes can be openings like nose mouth or skin if there is any wound present on it right so the first barrier becomes these openings which have mucosal lining the nose the mouth the urinogenital tract all these have mucosal lining basically the body will try to stop the pathogen at the first barrier itself wherein the mucosal immunity comes into picture. So, mucosal immunity becomes the defense mechanism. In a similar manner, edible vaccine stimulates mucosal immunity unlike traditional vaccines. Traditional vaccines won't be stimulating mucosal immunity. Edible vaccines, they stimulate mucosal immunity. How? Let's assume we have a edible vaccine, carrot. This person eats carrot. It will get masticated and degraded in the stomach by action of digestive enzymes. Further, when it goes to the intestine or gastrointestinal tract, the presence of Peyer's patch is there on the outer side of the intestine. Now, these are like lymphoid nodules and follicles wherein there is B cell and T cell maturation in it. What happens is, let's assume this is my tract of GI and these are my antigens which were degraded after eating. The antigen is attached or captured by a cell which is known as M cell. M cells are microfold cells. Now, these are like small amount of FAE cells fae follicular associated enterocyte these are like special cells which are so efficient in transcytosing certain macromolecules 
transcytosis is a word which means it can transport certain macromolecules through the cell membrane so it captures the antigen and it will be displaying it to certain antigen presenting cells like dendritic cells these cells will endocytose the antigen it will break down the antigen and it will further display to helper t cell helper t cell will stimulate b cells by secretion of certain cytokinins these are the cytokinins these cytokinins further attract b cells further these b cells will migrate to lymphoid mild area where they become active and that's why they are known as plasma cells when they release the antibody antibodies are usually of iga class type and these antibodies again pass through the epithelium in the lumen let's assume this is the actual virus which comes in and the antibody is already present so it will be neutralizing that particular virus there the m cell usually does the job of capturing the antigen and eliciting the immune response but what happens sometimes the dendritic cells have the potential to penetrate the epithelium cell layer this is the epithelium cell layer it has the potential to penetrate the epithelial cell layer and ca capture the antigen directly because it can project its dendrites out and it can directly capture it further it will also uh, induce b cells and t cells so this is another possibility now in recent research what happened is there were these cells which were goblet cells these were also present in the same area what goblet cells does is it will capture the antigen and it will directly display it in the small intestine that's the recent mechanism but otherwise this is the normal mechanism of edible vaccine so edible vaccine stimulates mucosal immunity by iga class of immunoglobins or antibodies this is also known as siga secretory immunoglobin a antibody so this is the mechanism of edible vaccine